Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad. And I'm Holly. And today we got something that I've been looking forward to trying uh, for a while now. I haven't been able to find it. Again, it's one of those bottles that's like something I've been looking for. It's not necessarily like, oh my God, it's allocated or holy crap, how'd you find that? It's just a bottle I've been wanting to try. Um, but before we get into that, please make sure you like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, for all the bourbon reviews we do here and follow me over on TikTok as well. I do videos there daily Sometimes they're short little videos of me finding something in a liquor store like the next video uh, Sometimes it's a review could be anything could be a top 10. I just did my top 10 all-time favorite whiskeys list uh, Over on TikTok and that was a lot of fun. So make sure you go check that out as well uh, All right, let me give the bottle here what we're doing. It is Green River Weeded bourbon. I love weeded bourbons. You love weeded mm -hmm. bourbon. Rebel is like your favorite bourbon of all time. I've never seen it in Orlando. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it in Orlando. So, uh, first time I saw it, I was like, grabbed it. Um, Side note, we are in North and South Carolina. Yeah, we are still in the Carolinas. <laughs> We're still in the Carolinas. Um, we'll be here for another week or so. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's been amazing bourbon hunting since we've been up here just a few days just a few days i've been here for two days i'm uh the next video you guys are gonna see is uh, i got to do a barrel pick um uh, be a part of the barrel pick i should say um at southern grace distillery who does conviction and if you guys go back and watch my review of conviction you know how much i love it it's a great whiskey um so i'm gonna go do that this is gonna be their father's day bottle so that's really cool gonna get yeah. to go on wednesday and do that so um it's gonna be fun. But in the meantime, we have Green River to get to. This is weeded bourbon. I'm excited to try this. 90 proof. Should be a nice, easy sipper. Interesting bottle. Very interesting bottle. Um, this should be a nice, easy sipper. You know, weeded bourbon is a lot softer typically. So a nice 45% alcohol weeder. Uh, Green River, as far as I know, if you wanna look up who actually distills it, I think it's just their own company. They probably source, um, but it says it's from Kentucky. Um, the Pride of Owensboro, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, founded by John W. McCullough in 1885 as Kentucky's 10th oldest distillery, Green River was celebrated for quality and became known as the Whiskey Without Regrets before being lost to history after Prohibition. Once again, Green River Whiskey is crafted at its original home. This weeded bourbon showcases a classic Kentucky profile with a smooth, balanced taste. It was um, purchased by Bardstown in 2022. Oh, that's right. We looked that up in the store. Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. So yeah, Bardstown owns us. So yeah. pretty cool. Having a I, I, Bardstown has impressed me lately. I, I was not really a huge fan. That like original stuff. The, 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 whatever that one was I had at the store, I did not care it's for it at all. It tasted price. like yeah, and that's that's the big problem. Yeah. Is it the taste isn't what you get what you yeah. pay for. So. But with the Origin series, like those are some of my favorite bottles mm -hmm. of the year so far. I, I love the Origin series. I, I even like the rye, one that tastes like Sprite. Remember that one? Uh, <laughs> I even I even like it. I don't love it, but um, those are some of my favorite bottles of the year so far. With uh, the Jack Ten coming in, that's probably Jack my number 12. one. I don't know yet. Mm. I don't know yet. Mm. We that's our next review. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Never had it, so that'll be a nice video. A little tease for the next video. I digress. But let's get into this, this is gonna be fun. Uh, I know you like weeded stuff, so mm -hmm. I, I actually think you're gonna like this quite a bit. Did you, you tried the Bardstown Weeded Origin series, didn't you? Yes, I tried all of them. Did you like that one? Do you remember? Nothing Bardstown really speaks to me. That's why I don't like it when I spend money on Bardstown bottles, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. $80 for a rye origin is a little aggressive. Yeah. yeah. But if it was, if it was Rebel, I would understand, so. Mm -hmm. I, you're like the only person I know that loves Rebel like that. That the one we got I'm from not a bourbon person. That one that we got. Fun. No, I think it's good though, especially the bottle we got from the distillery. If it, if you have like, I wish everyone could try that because that's the one that's like number. One. That's really really good. We used to like Rebel 100 and stuff, which yes, that's like my favorite like mixer. Yeah, cheap over. We're mm -hmm. just trying to have a fun weekend, drink a little bit. Um, all right, let's get into this. Cheers. Ooh. It smells very bready. It does. Like very It smells like a bakery. Yeah. You know what it smells like? It smells like back in the 90s when you would make bread at home. It's a lot lighter and thinner than that uh, Quinn's we just did a couple yeah. of videos ago. Which is so strange. Yeah. And how long has this aged? It doesn't say. There's not an age statement on it. Um, but it's Kentucky straight weeded bourbon. So it has to be at least two years. Okay. It's a long So bit. probably two or three years would be my guess. 
That smells really nice. There's also like a butter, but not butterscotch, like actual butter. You don't butter. like your caramel, you don't no. like any of that. It's, it's sweet smelling, but like not in any distinct direction. Mm -hmm. There is some sort of fruit there. What is that? Okay. Almost smells like, like buttered apple. popcorn, kind of. Like, like a, um, oh, I know what it reminds me of. You know like the Jelly Belly popcorn? Mm -hmm. That kind of reminds me of that. Hmm. I don't get Where it's that. that sweet, but it's like, it's not that exact like flavor or scent, but it's like that sweet and, mm -hmm. and savory kind of thing. I get a green apple as well. Oh, that's what that sweet is. You're right. That is, look at you. Look at me. Look at you coming through. Yeah, green apple for sure is on that. All right, I'm really intrigued to try this. One. I am too, let's see. Very thin. I like the flavors though. Yeah. I'm almost gonna say underwhelming on the palate, how thin it is. Yeah, it's, it's almost watery. The the nose is I like the flavor though. Like it's mm -hmm. it's uh you know, this was a what a thirty dollar bottle? Like a forty dollar bottle. That much? It was forty? Damn. Barge down, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be more of a twenty, twenty five dollar bottle to me personally. I would go thirty. 40 is a little extreme. It could just be where we're at, that it costs that much. I wonder what the actual MSRP of it is. It is thin. It is kind of thin. Yeah. That one year, Quinn tasted a lot more than this. I'm trying to like, there's not really much on the palate. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I said I liked the flavors, it was like, it's it like was enjoyable. Little. It's yes. oak, yeah. It's just kind of a little oak and like Beyond a, that, nothing. a little vanilla. Yeah. But this is the pride of Owensboro, Kentucky. Yeah, I get oak and vanilla. That's the only thing I get off this. If you like oak and vanilla at 90 proof, it's you know what? Why. You know who would like this, I really think? Uh, my buddy Tim. Yeah. I think he would like this one. Uh, he really I likes like makers. Life. Kind of reminds me of like a maker's vibe. Yeah, maker's is very thin to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not disappointed. It's I didn't not really. Bad. Have, I didn't have. Yeah, it's not bad. I didn't have like super high hopes for it. Um, so it's just one of those bottles that I was looking forward to trying, and I'm glad I got all my hands on it because it's it's also it's not obscure, but like it's not something you go into a bar and go, let me get a, a Green River weeded, please. Green book. So it's one of, it's just one of those things. But I'm glad I, I'm glad I tried it. Actually, I, I I really like this. Like this is not like something I'm gonna write off. Um, I wouldn't be rushing out to buy another bottle. There's like a corn note on it too. Like I had, we had corn on the cob the other night with dinner, and that's just like all I'm tasting. It's like it's actually pretty sweet. Take a sip of it. It's pretty sweet. Like when it sits in your mouth, it's like it's kind of sticky sweet. It reminds me of that silver corn we had. That I, get, I get more of like a, I hate to use the word, but more of like an acetone taste. Really? Yeah. That's, to me, it's just like super sweet. Not at all. Weird. Sure, taste buds different. are different. Everybody it is. Yeah, yeah, taste buds are different. Uh, I, I dig it. I don't. I don't love it. But bottle I don't kind hate of. It. What does it look like? What? Bottle kind of looks like a toilet seat. Just... <laughs> look at it. I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> and I don't think the good people over at Green River thought about that either. But That's now funny. I can't unsee it. I do Thank love you. the bottle design. I think it's supposed to look like a horseshoe. There you go. Because look, there's a horseshoe in the logo right there. Yeah. That's a horseshoe shape. Yeah. Nice toilet bowl shape bourbon bottle. Um, <laughs> I, I would say this is not like in the. It's not like a great weeded bourbon. Like yeah, I think no. I think Bush you have. Reserve is ten times better. Y yeah. Yeah. Any of those are better. Um, What's another weeded we've tried? I'm trying to think. Makers. It's better than makers. Mm -hmm. um, Rebel. Rebel Yell. Why am I blanking on weeded bourbons? Rest in peace, Rebel Yell. Yeah. Why am I, why am I blanking on, on weeded bourbons? Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, if you can find it, I would say grab it for around twenty-five. If you can find it in the in the like, I wouldn't pay more than forty for this. No. Um, but if you can find it in that range, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good price. Oh. Now this is nowhere as good as the weeded Bardstown Origin. No. Like, that's. Like you said, if you're a makers person and you. You would probably really like this. Step up from makers. Step yeah. up from makers. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
Um, comment down below if you've tried it, if you love it, if you hate it, what, what are your thoughts on it? If you haven't tried it, I hope we didn't just... Deter you. Yeah, because it's not, it's, it's definitely something I would give a shot to, because it could be up your alley, you never know. Super Bur bourbon sweet reviews, bur It's super sweet to me. Bur bourbon reviews are like weird because you have to find someone that kind of matches your palate. Because if you don't, then like, there's people that I watch because I know if they like something, I will stay away from it. Yeah. Because I know that there's- Same for food. Yeah, same for food. Uh, there's, I know like there's, oh, you like this? I hate that. So I'm just gonna avoid that at all costs. And I'll, I'll probably like it if you don't because we have opposite palates and that's cool. So don't let anyone deter you. If you're interested in the bottle, try it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers. cheers.